your primary project, the Economic Freedom Index of the World, which you've been doing for how many years now? I started working on it in 1990, so 30 years. Yeah. Uh, I was a graduate, I was 12 years old. I was a graduate student. <laughs> uh, it was My whole career has been working on this doggone yeah. index. And it was you and Dr. Dr. Gortney. Yeah, Jim Gortney was a professor of mine at Florida State, and he went off to some conference, and uh, it was great for me because he was gone for a week and didn't bother me. As a, you know, he was my boss. Yeah, and he came back and he said, "I just met Milton Friedman." I'm like, "Oh, that's really cool, man." And he says, "Guess what? We're going to do an economic freedom index." I'm like, "What? We're going to? There's no internet. This is 1990." So we're digging in the bowels of the Florida State Library trying to find data. And we cobbled an index together, and like one thing led another. Thirty years later, I'm still doing it. So. Yeah. Did, did you have any idea of how difficult this actually is to, to measure things in an objective way? It is brutal, yeah. I mean, so, I mean, like our first index, I think we had 11 variables in 70 countries. I mean, now we have 40 variables in 160 countries or something. So, uh, but yeah, at, at first, I mean, it was just like, how do you measure freedom? It's just this amorphous, vague thing. And so it, it turned out to be a lot more difficult. Well, it was actually, it was as difficult as we thought it was going to be. We knew it, there was a reason no one had done one before. Yeah. Because it's really hard. Um, so we, we, we gave it the old college try, but you know, we, we, that was precisely right. We just said, if, you know, every measurement tool and ever created is, is, is faulty. You know, the thermometer in this room isn't a precise reading of the temperature, but it's good enough. Yeah. So good enough was our goal. Like yeah. we want to do an end economic freedom index. that's just good enough. So the, are you suggesting that this was actually Milton Friedman's idea? Yeah, actually it was. Oh, that's, uh, Milton, that's cool. Milton Friedman and Michael Walker, who was the founder of something called the Fraser Institute in Canada, yeah. they uh, decided that someone should do an economic freedom index. So they held a conference. They invited Jim. Jim said, well, I'll do it. And, of course, when Jim says, I'll do it, what he meant is, I will do it. Because this is, I was this is what trickle-down economics actually precisely means. precisely what it is, <laughs> yeah. So I remember him clearly because he came to my office. This is, you know, graduate school is a little hierarchical. Yeah. Usually you got called to their offices. But Jim came to my office, which was like, that's an important day. So he was really excited about the project. And uh, he's still, still working on it with me. So the, uh, I watched a, a talk that you gave on this. And, and ultimately you're looking at a set of criteria that we'll go through. But you're, you're basically comparing Adam Smith's idea of natural liberty with Marx's idea of socialism, communism, whatever you want to call that. Um, talk, talk about that difference, because before there was this word capitalism, there was Adam Smith, and he had a very different conception of what that was. Yeah, I mean, Smith didn't use the word capitalism. In fact, Marx was one that really popularized that term. Smith called it a system of natural liberty, and today we would use other words normally, but uh, he meant private property, markets, competitive markets. He was a big opponent of monopolies. Uh, in, in his day, monopolies were usually granted by the king. The king yeah. would say, hey, you're the only guy that can sell shoes or something. You'd be the, the royal charter shoe company. And he was very much opposed to monopolies. He wanted to see free and open and unfettered markets. He wanted, and he had this crazy idea that you should trade with the French. Like, you know, England and France had had, you know, bitter wars for centuries. And this crazy Scotsman is up there writing books saying, hey, we should trade with those guys. That's a tougher sell uh, than us trading with China right it, now. In many ways, absolutely. We haven't had any hot wars with China in my memory. And yeah. so Korea, I guess. But, um, you know, so, so yes, Smith with this audacious argument in his era, um, many of the ideas are still pretty crazy. A lot of people still think the idea of free trade is, is a nutso idea. Uh, but... That was Smith's idea, set of ideas. The question is, how do you put a number on it? That was our goal. Our goal was to try to put a number, you know, seven, six, eight. Um, there are a lot of dimensions to the problem, so you got to get a lot of numbers and sort of average them all up and stuff. So, um, but that was the goal, was to try to put a number on how Adam Smithy a country is. Um, 